Also tonight, she may have been a top Paralympian, but this is what Baroness Tannigray Thompson has to go through to catch a train at her local station. Greatest Paralympians, but every week she has to go through a difficult and dangerous ordeal just to catch a train. Baroness Tannigray Thompson has to grab a handrail while pushing her wheelchair one-handed up a steep 50-metre ramp. All this simply to catch a train from her local station on Teesside to the House of Lords. Well, 20 years after the first disability legislation came into force, she says her problems highlight the difficulties thousands of wheelchair users face every day. Well, Stuart Winkup is live at Eagles Cliff Station and joins us now. So, Stuart, is it really that bad? Well, Jeff, we thought we'd show you. I'm halfway up the ramp. From the other side of the platform, you can see how steep it is. That's why Tanny Gray Thompson, someone with 16 Paralympic medals and describes herself as being quite fit, describes this also as a bit of an ordeal. Now, she makes the point and stresses it that it isn't just her whinging about the problems she faces at her local train station. She says, really, this highlights the issue many people face in wheelchairs doing something simple like trying to catch a train. Tanny Gray Thompson does it. Gold to Great Britain. She's one of the world's most successful Paralympians. She's broken 30 world records holds more than 20 honorary degrees and is now a baroness. But this is what Dame Tanny Gray Thompson has to do every week to catch a train to the capital. This shouldn't be the hardest part of my journey. It's actually really hard work. You know, when it's dark or when it's icy. And, and the hardest bit is sometimes when people come and offer to help, because they don't really want to be pushed over the bridge. You say, no, I'm fine, thanks. Grabbing a handrail, she has to pull herself one-handed up a steep 50-metre ramp. Probably the hardest bit is, is coming down. I have to go on my back wheels because if I had all four wheels on the ground, I have no control of the speed and that's actually really dangerous. We'll catch up with Tanny later. This all sounds familiar to Doug Pawley. Back in 2012, he couldn't get on a bus because her mother refused to move her pushchair from the wheelchair space. It was the final straw. I live in a care home other residents have talked of drivers saying that they were sick of effing wheelchairs <laughs> or um, people trying to get the carers accompanying them to operate the ramp the bus company say it's for parliament and not them to make laws that would see parents with buggies ordered to make way for wheelchair users doug's hoping to challenge this in the supreme court and his lawyer says he has five clients in the northeast waiting on that result this is a breakthrough. We know it's the number one issue for every wheelchair user on public transport. You know, there's no point in having an accessible bus if the service itself is inaccessible. Uh, and there are over a million wheelchair users in the UK. Back at Eaglescliff Station, we were wanting to speak to someone from Network Rail about the wheelchair access and show them our footage of Tanny. But no one was available. They did, though, give us a statement. Predictably, it all comes down to money. And while more than a million pounds has been spent making the car park bigger and resurfacing the ramp and bridge, there are no funds available to improve access. Tenny Gray Thompson says she was told it would cost five million pounds to put lifts in here. She questions that figure. Network Rail says Eaglescliff, like many stations, was built many years ago at a time little consideration was given to wheelchair users. Having made it onto the platform, Tanny's problems are still not over. Her worry now is whether train staff have noticed her. The, the whole infrastructure needs to be more accessible because whether you're disabled or an older person, you know, you should be working, going to school, paying taxes, and, and that becomes really difficult if you can't access the things that everybody takes for granted. And actually getting on a train is something that, that most people take for granted. Stuart, I'm sure people will be horrified to see someone, never mind that it's Tanny Gray Thompson, someone in a wheelchair having to struggle so badly to, just to catch a train. You say it all comes down to money. Can nothing be done to improve the access? Well, it's worth pointing out here that, you know, don't be fooled by the new paint. This station and the bridge were built 150 years ago. Network Rail says it would need to put two lifts in. That is said will cost millions of pounds. Now, that's the problem disability campaigners say they have. The issue is, for all the improvements, if people can't do something as basic as catch a train, that's where the problem lies. Back to you, Jeff. OK, Stuart, thanks for that.